Well, it was a very emotional debate in Parliament today. Let's bring in our correspondent who's been following the debate there, Simon Young. Simon, it looks like we do have a majority now for limited embryo screening. What was behind that? Well, that's right, Brian. 306 of 596 members of the Bundestag have voted uh, in favour of this relaxation uh, of the law, uh, allowing embryo screening in these very specific cases where uh, there's a high likelihood that if the uh, pregnancy is allowed to go ahead, that could result either in stillbirth or miscarriage or in the birth of a baby with very serious defects. Of course, this was an impassioned uh, debate uh, in the Bundestag uh, today with those who support this relaxation having to defend themselves against uh, the suggestion that this would lead to some kind of moral slide uh, with parents choosing characteristics for their uh, children. But, of course, uh, th those who support this relaxation have said, uh, no, that won't happen. There are safeguards against it. Uh, parents will be referred to uh, counselling in each case. They'll also have to go before an ethics committee mission to decide if this is right. And of course they say this actually affects only a couple of hundred families uh, every year. One of the uh, key people uh, supporting uh, this uh, change to the law, allowing embryo screening, uh, a member of government, uh, the Labour and Social Affairs Minister Ursula von der Leyen. She spoke to Deutsche Welle just a short time ago. Let's listen to some of the arguments uh, that she's made in favour of this. I believe we should not measure the self-image of disabled people and our attitudes to them in terms of this issue. PGD has been practiced for more than 20 years in other countries, and we know that in the rest of Europe, and also here in Germany, the acceptance by society for a world that is more inclusive of people with disabilities has increased. I'm not saying we're perfect or that we've got where we need to be, but that the openness towards people with disabilities has grown considerably and the opportunities for them. No, this is about parents who have already experienced stillbirths or miscarriages and who face a conflict during another pregnancy. Do we want to have a severely disabled child or do we want to have an abortion? These difficult conflicts can be avoided if we allow them to have the knowledge before the pregnancy that is already allowed in Germany during the pregnancy. So a strong majority for some strict guidelines, Simon. What happens now? Well, this means that uh, the clarity under the law that uh, the federal court had originally asked for that prompted this debate has now been uh, achieved and uh, in many ways nothing will change because uh, this has been a practice that many uh, doctors have already been following in the past. But now this gives uh, legal confidence to parents who are in this very traumatic situation. Uh, uh, but of course it remains a difficult issue and I'm sure the controversy uh, will continue outside Parliament. Simon Young at the Bundestag, thank you so very much, Simon.